Chicago and Southside, like I don't get to see skiing <laughs> and snowboarding and yeah. all these crazy events. So I'm just trying to take it in myself. Okay, so kindergarten through eighth grade, um, we went to, um, we had a like a snow a ski retreat every okay. year so I would do that okay. but once I got to high school it was no more like extracurricular activities yeah. in that sense it was all track and field up until I did bobsled so I wasn't really able to play around with too many different things but we used to go skiing out every year remember where um somewhere in Wisconsin yeah my mom is my rock like she's a superhero to me to see how well, she's groomed um, all of us to be great, and she's raised two professional athletes. She's, um, you know, raising my help, raising my niece, and and did so much great things with my sister. It's like I've never seen her sick. I've never seen her sad. I've never seen her, you know, go through things. I think she's just the strongest person I I know. She lets me just be me and and get it out. So like, if I'm having hard times, if I'm if I'm upset or stuff, she lets me get it out, and then helps me snap out of it and so I think that's really big because I don't have to pretend to be strong I don't have to pretend to act like I have it all together she lets me go there if I need to and then she's like okay you got it out like let's get back to work let's figure it out let's do this and she's very proactive On a physical level, I think you need to have that power for sure. We gotta go from zero to 100, so from a static position to exploding off the block, and you have to have that power and that speed and, and the explosiveness to push 365 pounds sled. And so, um, outside of that, I think you need to learn how to be a teammate, like genuinely care about the person you're, you're sliding with, build that team, have that camaraderie, like uh, learn what their weaknesses are, what their strengths are, how to read them, know when they need a confidence boost, when they need a shoulder to cry on, or, or like just kind of literally building like a sisterhood. We're like best friends. We don't all, like Jamie and I, we're like sisters for real. Like we don't always get along and then we have great times and then we're like annoyed, like get out my face. And then we're like, oh my gosh, give me a hug. What are you doing? How's your day? So you go through all those emotions and it's very, very genuine and true and I think um, in this sport, you have to have that genuineness because otherwise you can tell, you can feel it. And, and this is a very intuitive sport. Like you can't just go in expecting to just be fast. Like that's not going to cut it. You have to have the confidence. You have to um, have that mental uh, game as well. And it's really big and it plays a big part in it. I mean, from a performance standpoint, I think I'm in my prime. I think uh, being somewhat of a veteran in this sport is giving me the advantage I needed that I didn't have last Olympic Games and, and last go round. I have years under my belt. I kind of have that experience with Jamie. We're a returning duo. We've already proven ourselves on that track. And so I have the utmost confidence in our performance and really going for gold. I think we complete each other. Uh, we're both extremely driven. I love Jamie. She could just look me in my eyes and I know she means business. Like I call it the death stare because it's just right in your pupils, like just right all up in there. And it's just, you can see the fierceness, the intensity, and the drive. And in this sport, I can only control so much. So yeah. I want someone that has the same values, beliefs, and wants it just as bad as I do. And so I feel like I'm the best brakeman in the world. She's the best driver in the world. And together, you can't beat that. So to give her what I, I have at the start and for her to have the confidence in me and then for me to hop in the sled and have the confidence in her down the track, uh, it just kind of goes hand in hand with us. When we came through the finish line and I knew we secured a medal, um, it was literally like a breath of fresh air because there's so much you just kind of hold in and, and act like you're not affected by it or so much pressure and stress and all these things. And so when you go through and you know you've achieved, you know, what you came to do, then it's like, okay, now I can breathe. And then I saw my brother there, I gave him a big yeah. high five, my whole family was there. And so then it, the celebration part started like the next day when we got our Olympic medal around our necks and I was standing up there, hundreds of people, thousands of people out in the in the stands just watching us and cheering us on like that was the most breathtaking experience of my life.